to the 2022 commencement exercises for the West Coast University Texas campus. <laughs> Graduates, did you wake up today and say, this is the day? Yes, yes you have arrived. So excited. My name is Dr. Amy King and I serve as the executive director for our Texas campus. On behalf of our administration, faculty, and staff, I am so honored to welcome you today to this celebration of our graduates' incredible achievements. Before we begin our ceremony, a friendly reminder to please silence your cell phones in honor of our graduates. And as you capture these proud moments on your mobile devices, we encourage you to share on social media featuring hashtag WCU proud and hashtag WCU commencement. We would like to take a moment to recognize our graduates, family and friends in attendance today who have currently served or have served in the armed forces to please stand and be recognized. And if we could bring up the house lights. Thank you all for your service. Now I would like to ask everyone to please rise for the national anthem performed by West Coast University graduate Emily Diaz, BSN Class of 2022. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched where so gallantly streaming And congratulations. Everyone, please be seated. It is now my pleasure to introduce to you the co president of academics of West Coast University, Dr. Ward Ulmer, to lead our ceremony today. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. It's a great privilege to join all of you here today as we celebrate West Coast University Texas commencement ceremonies. And on behalf of West Coast University's Board of Trustees, University Administration, faculty, staff, and our healthcare partners, I am honored to be here today to join you in celebrating the achievement of this outstanding group of graduates. In addition to Dr. King, I'm joined on the stage by West Coast University Interim Co-President of Business Operations, Mr. Bill Sanderson. <laughs> Commencement speaker and board trustee, Dr. Levi Harrison. <laughs> and alumni speaker, Dr. JD, I'm sorry, JD Boucher Bays. I'm also here with our academic officers, our campus executive directors, and program deans as we honor our graduates today. Additionally, our esteemed faculty are here to celebrate everything that you've done, everything that you've achieved. These dedicated educators are the people who had confidence in you all along. 
They are the people who pushed you, who encouraged you, who made you angry from time to time. The people who were tireless advocates for your success. At this time, I'd like to ask our faculty members to please stand and be recognized. And thank you to Donna Kundaji and Emily Liu for joining us as narrators today. And there's one more group of people, very important people, who are here today. And without them, this day would not be possible. The parents, the partners and spouses, the grandparents, the siblings, that's not everyone, the children of our graduates. All of these people gave their unconditional love and support to our graduates throughout your educational journey. They encouraged you. They helped you. They did the dishes so you could study. They took on additional responsibilities so you would have more time to focus. Graduates, at this time, I ask that you please stand, turn to these individuals, and let them know how much you appreciate them. Thank you, and please be seated. Today, we celebrate more than 160 graduates who will serve as healthcare professionals. And they'll do so at a time when their experience, their knowledge, and their compassion are needed more than ever. As the father of a nurse practitioner and the brother of a nurse, I know personally how much this entire graduating class of healthcare professionals sacrificed to reach this day, to reach this milestone that no one will ever take from you. And after the past two years, there's now an even greater awareness and gratitude and respect for the career path that you've chosen. Graduates, it's my honor and the honor of all of my colleagues to personally thank you for being relentless in earning your degree and for trusting West Coast University to support and guide you to this day. Thank you. As our graduates already know, West Coast University is committed not only to the education of students, but to the health and wellness of the communities in which we serve. Our students join us continuously in giving back by volunteering their time and their skills to provide patient care, health services, and many other things in local areas, and by participating in community service experiences abroad. Our graduates have lent their support on the front lines of the pandemic in hospitals, clinics, and testing sites. They've volunteered in food banks, in shelters, and in community centers. I am personally so proud that our graduates are making a real, tangible difference even before they walk across this stage. Graduates, you've demonstrated remarkable strength and resilience, rising to every challenge. Congratulations to each of you. We simply could not be prouder of you. And now, it is my pleasure to introduce West Coast University Interim Co-President of Business Operations, Mr. Bill Sanderson. Uh, good afternoon, graduates. Today, it is my pleasure to introduce our friend and commencement keynote speaker, Dr. Levi Harrison. Dr. Harrison, an orthopedic surgeon, specializes in providing care to gamers and electronic sports athletes from all around the world. This special expertise has led to guest appearances on broadcasts such as The Dr. Oz Show and CNN with Dr. Sanjay Gupta. Dr. Levi earned a Bachelor of Arts in Romance Languages and a Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering from the University of Notre Dame. He went on to earn a master's degree in Mechanical Engineering from Howard University and then his MD 
from the University of California at Davis. Dr. Levi, who is also a member of the West Coast University Board of Trustees, is a tireless advocate for giving back and for volunteerism. For example, he has served as medical director for the International Special Olympics World Games held in Los Angeles and is a donor for charities and foundations such as the Wounded Warrior Project and Appalachian Charities. He believes everyone deserves compassionate and professional care and makes it his mission to regularly provide free care to veterans and the uninsured, especially children. He's been a champion to amplify the voice of the disenfranchised and the forgotten. He believes that everyone is worthy of a valuable and deserves respect and compassionate care. Please join me in welcoming our friend, Dr. Levi Harrison. Congratulations. <laughs> I hear that everything is bigger in Texas, including the hearts of the Texans. I hear there's more compassion here, more love here, more forgiveness here. I am so honored to be here with you today. I'd like to thank Dr. King for inviting me, as well as the co-presidents of the university, as well as the board of trustees, as well as all of your faculty for having me here today. I have a lot to discuss with you, and I'm grateful to have your attention. Today, you take on the mantle, the mantle of a West Coast University champion. West Coast University has a very rich history of service to the community, as well as activism, as well as being a true advocate for the communities which we serve. It has been tireless in helping people who feel like they don't have a chance, that they're the underdogs, that they're not gonna make it, that nobody cares about them. Well, West Coast University cares about all of you. West, West Coast University is really about what we talk about all the time in our Board of Trustees meetings, and that is student centricity, which simply means that you, the students, are the center of the West Coast University universe. Nothing else, no one else, simply you. So we celebrate you today and we honor you today because we know that you did this through, through COVID. COVID was a very tough time for, for the world, but I cannot imagine what it was like for all of you as students trying to study. I'm sure some of you had COVID once, twice, or maybe three times. However, even with that, you said, I will rise above. I will do the work. I will stand strong. I will do whatever it takes to get my degree. And all of you, you did it. I'm really proud of you. And it takes a lot, because think about it. Many of you could not go to the parties, to the weddings, to the christenings, to the quinceaneras. You couldn't go to the shivers. You couldn't go to the funerals. You could not go to all of those things that were very important. Why? Because you said, yes, those things are important. However, my degree is more important. Many of you had great, great loss during this time. You lost friends, family members during COVID. But even in that great loss, you were able to dig deep and you had the grit and the determination and the foresight to do the work and to say, nothing is going to stop me. I am going to get the work done. And you did it. And as Dr. Almer so eloquently said earlier, and so did Mr. Sanderson, you did not do it alone. It does take a village. All of you know that. So as we did earlier, and I think it's so important, we must always be aware that yes, your name is on that diploma today. But if you had a virtual diploma, it would have your mother's name, your father's name, 
your grandmother, your spouse, your brother, your husband, your wife, your children's names would all be on that diploma because all of them help you. They help you to get to where you needed to go, which is where, which is today, and you made it. And I'm really, really proud of you. Now, I want to tell you, as West Coast University champions, there's a lot that you have to think about. I want to I want to stamp your passport today and that's going to be the passport of champions and I want to tell you a few things to really help you on your journey and the first is gratitude it's so important that you take gratitude wherever you go you must be humble and you must thank all the people that help you along the way and more importantly you must also help other people to get where you are so you have to be a mentor. So when someone asks you, hmm, how did you get there? How did you do it? How did you get the money? How did you get the time? You have to give them hope. You have to let them know, yes, I did it, but so can you. Never think that you are all of that in a bag of chips. You must be humble. That's really important. When I applied to medical school and I was fortunate to get in, I didn't tell any of my family or my girlfriend at the time. No one knew. So when I got in, I, I told my mother, and she said, huh, that's great, Levi. She said, well, son, I'd like you to remember two things. She said, sit down. And I looked at her, and she had that look, that motherly look that means sit down. So I took a seat. So as I sat there looking at my mother for about 30 seconds, she just looked at me. She said, well, Levi, I know, son, that this is your calling, and I know you'll be a great physician. I believe that. She said, but to do that, son, I want you to remember two things. She said, first, everyone you see and everyone you treat, I'd like you to imagine my face on them so that you will treat them the way you will treat me. And I said, I I I'll do that. So I stood up to walk away. She said, did you hear me? I said, yes, I did. She said, well, sit down. I said, two things. So of course I sat down. So she said, secondly, son, and she said, most importantly, it's really important that you remember. And so I was looking down and she said, look at me when I'm talking to you. She said, you must remember this. She said, you can be the doctor today. And she snapped her fingers and the patient tomorrow. She said, be careful, son. Be careful how you treat everyone. Now, with that said, you, the graduates, the champions of West Coast University, I want you to remember that. Treat people the way you want to be treated. And remember that the doctor, the nurse, the nurse administrator, the physical therapist, the occupational therapist, the dental hygienist, all of those, the dog walker, no one's better than no one else. Everybody, everybody has value. And be sure when you start your term, when you start working, be sure that you speak to everyone. Don't, don't think that you're ever better than the anyone because we're not. We all bleed red. So be clear that you treat everyone with professionalism and with truth and with kindness. You know, when I was at Howard University, the first day I, I walked into the hall where I was taking classes, there's a gentleman holding the door. And I said, how you doing, sir? I said, I'm, I'm Levi. And he said, well, hi, I'm Mr. Johnson. I said, well, how are you doing? I said, what do you do here? He said, well, I'm just a janitor. I said, wait, wait, wait. I said, no, you're not just a janitor. I said, you are a great janitor. I said, I said let's, let's think about that differently. I said, what about, we, we say you're the janitorial technician. He started laughing. I said, well, you really are. I said, because don't forget, this hall would not be clean if it weren't for you. I said, you were so nice to hold the door for all the new students, including me. I said, so I hope to get to talk to you a lot over my next several years here. Now, as I was there, I was in a lab late at night sometime. I would lock myself out. I would call him 
sometimes at 2, 3, 4 in the morning. And he would get up and he would come and he would open the door so I could finish my experimentation. And I was always grateful for that. And the last time he did it was like the fourth or fifth time. It was like 4.30 in the morning. He said, I, I brought a gift for you. I said, well, what is that, Mr. Johnson? He said, here's a key. <laughs> and he said, we're going to put this in a special place where only you and I know. He said, because, you know, I, I love you, Levi, but my wife loves me more. <laughs> so I, I, I understood that. So we kept that key and we put it in a place where I didn't have to call him anymore. I, I share that story with you because kindness will open doors that you normally don't have access to. And feeling entitled and being egotistical and self-centered will close doors that you will never enter. So be careful, be mindful how you treat everyone. It's so very important. Everyone wants to be seen and they should be. You know, I, I was walking to a Whole Foods one day. This is always a very emotional story for me, so I apologize in advance because I know what's gonna happen. I was walking into Whole Foods and there was a veteran standing there with a sign <laughs> that said, please help me. So I talked to him and we talked for about five or 10 minutes and he told me what he wanted and I said, no problem, I'll get that for you. And he told me about his tours of duty. It was just, it was just fantastic. We talked about at least 15, 20 minutes. So I went inside, I, I bought the groceries that he wanted and then I gave him all the money I had on me. And I told him, I said, you know, I really appreciate you, um, you know, sharing your story with me. And he said, he said, thank you so much. And I had on my scrubs, and he, he said, how do you pronounce that? I said, it, it's Levi. He said, well, thank you, Dr. Levi. And I was walking away, and he said, well, can I give you something? I said, yes. So he said, I just want to give you a hug. I said, of course. So he gives me a hug, and after about three seconds, I try to pull away, but he holds me even, he holds me even, he holds me even tighter. And as I'm standing there, my shoulder, my right shoulder, just gets wet, soaking wet. Because as I'm holding him, he's crying. And I said, well, what's the matter? I said, I gave you the money that I had, and I, I, I gave you two bags of grocery, groceries. And he said, well, he said, he said, I'm a veteran. And I gave everything to my country. And they don't even see me. So I looked at him directly in his eyes. And I said, I see you. And I appreciate everything you've done. And then I held him. And his right shoulder was wet with my tears. So I say that to you graduates because you must be mindful. You must be mindful to see and treat everyone with kindness, with love, and respect. I want you to, to feel that. I want you to see that, not with your eyes but with your heart. I, I want to share something else with you. As you go forward in your careers, I want to share a story about the bees. Their 
have four of them. You're going to meet these while you're working. And they're pretty interesting. The four B's are the following. There's the bully. There's the bullied. There's the bystander. And then there's all of you. There's the brave. The bully, we all know very well. That's that person who thinks that they know everything. Everyone else is less than they are. They're more connected. They're smarter. They want you to feel like you are less because they don't have any self-worth. So they want you to feel like you are less than. And then there's the bully. That's that person who believes they have no voice, that whatever they say won't be heard, appreciated, or even listened to. And then there's the bystander. That's the one who sees the bully in action, sees the bullied being bullied, yet says nothing. The bystander is complicitous because they're not being bullied today. Now that can always change. That switch can be flipped like that where the bystander becomes the bullied. And then there's the West Coast University champion. There's all of you, the brave. You must stand up in the workplace. When the workplace is hostile, when you see people being treated and talked about inappropriately, you must stand up and say, excuse me, I went to West Coast University. We treat everybody with respect and kindness. We don't do that here. We don't talk about people because of their race, their creed, their sex, their sexuality, their gender, their gender identity, their size, or their age. We don't do that. So can you please stop that? Because here, we lead with love and truth. You must do that. And guess what? There are days when it will be very easy to do, and there will be other times when it won't be. And that's when you have to have the grit and determination to do the right thing. And because you are West Coast University champions, I know and I believe that you will do the right thing. Will you? Will you? Yeah. I'm going to remind you of that. You must do the right thing. Now, before I leave you today, I'd like the graduates to stand up. Today, I would like you all to do, you'll be the first graduating class to ever do this. Because you are West Coast University champions, I'd like you to take the pledge of being a West Coast University champion. Are you ready for it? So put your hand right here. Now, everyone that's here today, I'd like to make all of you honorary West Coast University champions, the same with the faculty and staff. So I'd like you to put your hand there too and take the pledge with us. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Come on, I heard everything is bigger in Texas. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. So this is the pledge and you'll repeat after me along with our staff, along with all our friends who are joining us today. So let's begin. I am a West Coast University champion. I live in professionalism, truth, and service. I see clearly with my heart To expand, to expand compassion. I use my mind, I use my mind to, impact 
to curate and construct critical infrastructures. I am a humble visionary and a mentor with active availability. I will do the right thing when no one is looking. I am brave. I am a West Coast University champion. Remember that pledge. You can take a seat. I look forward to hearing about how great all of you continue to do. And remember this pledge, remember this day, because I know you can do it. I'm really proud of you, and thanks for sharing your time with me. Thank you, Dr. Harrison. I know everyone here has been inspired by your service to others and certainly your commitment to respectful and compassionate care. Our graduates share passion and determination with Dr. Harrison, particularly those graduates who represent the top of the graduating class. Our valedictorian exemplifies that same dedication, drive, and academic excellence. The West Coast University Texas class of 2022 valedictorian graduate is identified tonight by the gold valedictorian medallion she is wearing. At this time, we ask that Karis McCaslin please stand and be recognized. Thank you. And at this time, I ask Provost of West Coast University, Dr. Kirsty DiBiase, to please certify our candidates for graduation. Good evening, champions of West Coast University. On behalf of the faculty of West Coast University, it is my honor to certify that the candidates for the following degrees have completed or are completing all the requirements of their programs and are therefore qualified to receive the degree to which they are or will be entitled. Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Bachelor of Science in Health Administration. <laughs> Master of Public Health. <laughs> Master of Business Administration. <laughs> Master of Health Administration. Master of Science in Nursing. <laughs> Congratulations, graduates. Graduates, please stand. Tired yet? Ready to go home? Graduates, upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the power vested in me by the West Coast University Board of Trustees and by the state of Texas, I hereby grant the degrees to which these candidates are entitled with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Graduates, at this time, you may now move your tassel from the right side of your cap to the left. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you, and please be seated. At this time, I'd like to invite Dr. King to the podium. Thank you, Dr. Ulmer. <laughs> and now I would like to introduce West Coast University alumnus J.D. Boucher, who earned his BSN from West Coast University. His career in healthcare spans nearly 35 years. J.D. Boucher served in the U.S. Army as a combat medic and was in 16 combat missions. he was awarded a Bronze Star and a Purple Heart. Since graduating from West Coast University, J.D. Boucher is pursuing his fourth master's degree while also being active in multiple councils and committees in his hospital, serving on nonprofit board of directors and volunteering. He was also appointed by Governor Abbott to the Texas Nursing Legislation Action Committee and the Committee on Workplace Violence. He is currently the president of the Dallas chapter of the Association of Perioperitop Nurses, president for the Texas Collaboration of Nurses, and sits on three national committees. Please join me in thanking him for his incredible service and welcoming West Coast University alumnus J.D. Boucher. so good to be home. I didn't know that this was going to be up here. So good evening, deans, faculty, alumni, parents, and family, and most importantly, graduates. What a distinct pleasure it is to welcome you to the alumni. I may look old, but I'm actually graduated West Coast University in 2015. See what nursing does to you? Graduates, I'm here to share a secret with you for success. Set goals. Where do you see yourself in five years, in 10 years, or even in 20 years? Nursing should be much more than just a job. How do we keep nursing challenging and at the same time provide a satisfaction necessary to function effectively in our roles as a nurse? As you think about life goals, consider the different opportunities in nursing. So if you find yourself in an area that is not a good fit, it's okay. You can move to another one that fits as comfortable as a sweater and it would be just right. Nursing can give you that. Never underestimate the options available in nursing and never underestimate your voice in nursing. There are over 200 different nursing roles that you can do at this degree that you guys are getting today. And if you think bigger, there are so many more that higher education degrees can be held. So alumni, you are part of West Coast University family, a family that's a community of over 50,000 alumni located across the globe. And you always will be a part of this family. Trust me, I did not understand the importance of this new family until I standing where you guys are standing right now. The legacy of the university is largely in your hands now. As you transition into your chosen profession, you will know your competence, your compassion, and your confidence. And you will know by those qualities, you too will be alum, alumata, will be known. We encourage you to become active in West Coast University Alumni Association because the rewards of, are, of this community are great. You are now officially alumni, which is great. Please wear your distinguished alumni pens with pride. Speaking on behalf of over 50,000 alumni members, we wish you every success as you march boldly and proudly into the future. Congratulations, graduates. Thank you, J.D. And graduates, I also encourage you to remain connected with your West Coast University family. 
be a part of the Alumni Association and continue to share your career successes with us throughout your journey. And now, without further ado, it is time for us to recognize, honor, and celebrate the achievements of our newest graduates as we present the diplomas to the West Coast University, Texas graduating class of 2022. Here to begin the presentation of diplomas is West Coast University Executive Director of Online Programs, Dr. Jack Kane. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jack Kane. I'm the Campus Executive Director for West Coast University Online Programs. Well, the Master's and Bachelor's Degree candidates from WCU Online Programs, please come forward. Alicia Bourne. Andrean LaShawn Hardwell. Stacy Dupre Lyco. Lauren Plummer. Amalia Mata. Angela Rayburn. Kibia Jackson. Chamitra Asbury. Jocelyn Satterfield. Mary S. Odipo. Margaret Anigia. Salma Manji. Nina Kibi. Rosine Menino. <laughs> Ricardo Avalos. Justin Wilson. Yaz 
Carlos Gutierrez. Alejandro Legales Ortiz. Leonardo Cuervo. Reina Wiseman. Barbara Chandra. This concludes the presentation of diplomas for online master's degree candidates. Shanika Randall. Alicia Shanta Johnson. Amber Riles Piles. Marjorie J Zabata. This concludes the presentation of diplomas for online bachelor's degree candidates. It is now our great pleasure to ask the bachelor's degree candidates from West Coast University, Texas to please come forward. Shauna Johnston. Cherish Jackson. Zachary Bevel. Shannon Stepney. Jaquan Cox. Tracy McKinnon. Valencian Taylor. Monica, Monica Tover. Tanya Wilson Wells. Sherry D. Jordan. Presley Sang. Courtney Wheeler. Madison Marchant. Haley Whale.
Katrina Lewis. John Kamal. Jessica Arnwine. Stephen Underwood. Evan Bebo. Sofari Hin. Nicole Valdez. Brendan Moreno. Zyriana Love. Marion Brewer. Kaylee Capuco. Brianna Phillip. Yeza Noble. Amanda Edmonds. Christina Bavitas. Claire De La Rosa. Jessica Lucas. Vanessa Fuentes. Haley Hamilton. Delina Wynn. Chiamaka Ibe. Kelsey Hansmeyer. Cole Crawford. Oreya Fair Usiata Zichi. Brittany Patterson. Zara Casira. Stormy Schoolcraft. Kaylee Chuvin. Sydney Berg. Shannon Moore.
Jalicia Reynolds. Patrick Onchitsi. Laura Venezuelas. Rhea Reju. Jordan Holden. Rahila Aftab. La Prensa Grant. Stefan Bao. Denisha Jones. Ariel Winchester. Pamela Rogers. Brittany Booker. Cecilia Maggie. Ariel Hall. Diamond Parks. Tara Shais Tina. Marcy Hibbett. Ashlyn Bermudez Almeida. Debbie Delgado. Camille Ray. Gamari Bradley Hall Nadia Vall Isabel Soto. Gabriela Lima. Elizabeth Jimenez. Deborah Bullard. Kelly Griffin.
Dariel Smith. Dariel Smith. Shaquela Thomas. Melissa Morales. Brianna Nelson. Ingrid Pruitt. Janelle Patterson. Vanessa Hernandez. Jessica Gomez. Crystal Gates. Okay. Heaven Bogale. Savannah Mims. DeAngela Scott. Tamia Cordova. Swathi Nair. Jacqueline Singh. Ashley Hunt. Brittany Treat. Tori Vanover. Taylor Kunze. Nicole Osagi. Erica Myers. Brittany Darden. Hannah Moose. Megan Stevens. Deanna Soto. Marina Harija Herrera Rin John Brianna Rodriguez Samantha Smith
Alyssa Kotomi Lures. George J. Chiritha. Ashley Rumiho. Valentin Azimikulo. Geraldine Sand. Tran Win. Jessica Gordon. Teresa Baylock. Brooke Raminger. Christian Castillo. Aisha Gardner. Giselle Vasquez. Mariana Gomez. Cynthia Love. Yamisi OK. Rahil Ariasi. This concludes the presentation of diplomas for bachelor's degree candidates. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the 2022 West Coast University Texas Commencement Exercise. <laughs> graduates, graduates, please rise for the recessional and guest. We ask that you please remain seated until the recessional has ended. And thank you everyone for participating in today's ceremony. Graduates, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you.